Russia's radioactivity reaches Britain, it's weak and safe. Soviet TV says Western media exaggerated and lied. The prison officers and the government try to make peace. Mrs. Thatcher tells Americans, I promise you'll be safe in Britain. And royal silhouette, the lasers ring out a welcome. Good evening. Radioactive fallout from the Soviet nuclear accident has reached Britain. Raised radiation levels were detected in the south of England as far west as Oxfordshire. The National Radiological Protection Board say concentrations of radioactive material are very low and people in the United Kingdom won't be placed at risk. Soviet television tonight accused the Western media of spreading slanderous inventions about the Chernobyl accident. But the Moscow Communist Party chief told West German television that radioactivity around the nuclear plant was still high and he said there is a dangerous zone which people cannot enter. He said the authorities were trying to prevent the spread of radioactivity by using helicopters to drop lead, sand and neutron absorbing chemicals onto the site. In Poland, about 200 people demonstrated in Rostov demanding more information. Some demonstrators' banners said, our children are getting killed. Romania, also in the Eastern Bloc, today reported radioactivity much over normal limits and, like Poland, started giving anti-radiation pills to all under 18s. Italy said children under 10 and pregnant women should not be given fresh milk and banned the sale of fresh green vegetables there. Material from the Chernobyl nuclear disaster was detected in several parts of the southeast of England today. Minute particles of radiation were deposited on air filters at monitoring stations. The National Radiological Protection Board described the cloud as greatly diluted, with radiation only a fraction of that detected in Sweden. Last weekend, when the disaster was in its early stages, the cloud of radiation blew north and west. Scandinavia detected the fallout on Monday. By Tuesday, the wind was changing to the south and west. And by Wednesday, Switzerland was being affected. While wind has blown what appear to be new emissions from the damaged reactor southwards towards Turkey since then, the old cloud over Switzerland has been blown north and west to Britain while steadily losing its radioactive strength. The government's chief medical officer says the radiation cloud presents no danger to Britain. He said measurements taken from people returning from the Soviet Union were within safe limits. And further radiation checks will be made available to travellers from the area who may be worried. The British students who had been staying in Minsk and Kiev, relatively close to the damaged reactor, were given a clean bill of health when they arrived at Heathrow Airport London last night. The highest radiation readings were found on their clothes, some of which were confiscated. We seem to have only been in contact with low-level contamination, except for the fact that, for example, a boy at the airport discovered that the seat of his trousers had, I think it was 400 beats a minute, whereas the safety standard we were told was 100 that they were setting then. And he re reckoned that it was when he sat down on the wall outside the hotel, after, and which means that there was a certain amount of fairly considerable radiation there. After their examination, the relief of some of them early today was evident. The Soviet Union hasn't given any new figures on the casualties at Chernobyl. It's still saying two were killed in the initial accident and 18 are seriously ill. Their television report tonight criticizing Western media coverage was the longest seen in the Soviet Union since the accident last weekend. The Soviet Union's evening news bulletin is seen by millions, and tonight, halfway through the program, the newscaster had this to say. Западные средства массовой информации распространяют клеветнические измышления по поводу аварии на Чернобыльской атомной станции. Некоторые страны демонстративно отзывают из Советского Союза своих граждан.